All right, we want to get to our crime crisis, folks, because Albuquerque Police Department leaders say detectives are making major progress in solving all the homicide cases that are just piling on their desks. So what's led to this increase in arrests, and what does this mean for our crime crisis? Spencer Schott got some answers from Chief Harold Medina today. The Albuquerque Police Department have made 47 arrests so far in homicide cases this year. 23 of those cases were homicides that happened this year and 24 were homicides that happened in previous years. And now they're looking to increase the number of arrests they make the rest of the year. Our, our goal this year is I want 100 homicides solved and I want well over 100 arrests, and uh, that's our goal. Chief Medina says they are off to a good start, especially compared to arrests made in years past. One of the big uh, criticisms APD has faced over the years is that our, for years, our homicide uh, clearance rate has hovered somewhere near around, you know, 50 to 60 percent, depending on year to year. Right now, as of last Friday, our clearance rate was 97 percent. This is one of the rare times we are arresting more people than new cases are coming our way. Both APD and the city are proud of the work the homicide department has been able to accomplish so far this year, and they hope the rest of the city sees it as well. It's sending the right signal to victims that we're going to fight for justice and also to criminals that we are going to catch you. But just because arrests are going up doesn't mean homicides are going down. I don't see anywhere in the near future that homicide rates are going to be decreasing. We're not seeing any major cities having a huge decrease and we're nothing special compared to the rest of them. So I think that it will have an impact eventually because we are getting some individuals who are involved in multiple activities that were leading to multiple homicides. In Albuquerque, Spencer Schott, KOB4.